Hello and welcome to another MessageBird developer tutorial. Today we'll show you how to build SMS server alerts with MessageBird's SMS API using Node.js. You can either walk through the tutorial with us here or get started now by downloading the sample application in the MessageBird developers portal using the link in the description. First things first, let's open a console pointed at the directory into which you've cloned or downloaded the sample application and run npm install. This will download the dependencies defined in the package.json file including the MessageBird SDK, which is used to send messages, Winston, which is our logging library, and Express Winston, which automatically logs web results in an Express app. Winston enables developers to build custom transports to define custom targets for log messages and use them just like built-ins, such as the file or console transports. We have created one in the file MessageBird Transport.js. Custom transports are extensions of the transport class and need to implement a constructor for initialization as well as the log method. Now let's configure our SMS alert functionality. To keep the custom transport self-contained and independent from the way the application wants to provide this information, we read the settings from options in our constructor. As you can see, we first call the super constructor from the parent class. Then we load and initialize the MessageBird SDK with an API key read from the options. There are two other parameters, one or more recipients, the phone numbers of the system engineers that should be informed about problems with the server, and an originator, which is the sender ID for the messages. Both mandatory configuration fields are copied as members of the transport object. Now, in the log method, let's start with some default code from the basic custom transport class. We then shorten the log entry to make sure it fits in the 160 characters of a single SMS, so that notifications won't incur unnecessary costs or break limits. Finally, we call MessageBird messages create to send an SMS notification. For the required parameters originator and recipients, we use the values stored before. And for the body, we use the shortened text prefixed with the level. The MessageBird API call is asynchronous and uses a callback function. In that callback function, we only log the response to the console and don't do anything else. We use a standard console log statement because if we record this with Winston, we might get stuck in an infinite loop. In index.js, we start off by loading the dependencies in the custom transport class. We also use .env to load configuration data from an env file. Let's copy env example to env and store your information. You can create or retrieve an API key in the MessageBird dashboard. The originator can be a phone number you registered through MessageBird or for countries that support it, an alphanumeric sender ID with at most 11 characters. You can provide one or more comma-separated phone numbers as recipients. Back in index.js, it's time to set up the logger. The Winston create logger method takes a variety of operational configuration parameters. Using the transports parameter, you can define one or more transports. As an example, we have added three. The default console transport where we log everything, starting with the debug level. A default file transport where we log info and higher info a file called app log. And finally, our previously created custom message bird transport with all the configuration options taken from our environment variables. We convert the comma-separated recipients into an array with split. This transport only handles log events with the error level. After setting up an Express app, you can call app use to specify middleware. Middlewares are extensions to Express that touch each request, and they are useful for globally required functionality such as authentication or, in our example, logging. We provide the previously initialized Winston instance logger, so the same logger is used for automated express request logging and custom log entries. The status levels parameter enables a built-in behavior of express Winston. This logs requests that report a server error, meaning they have response codes in the 500 range with error level and uses the info level for successful requests with a 200 something response code. This functionality matches our intention that we want to report only server errors through our message bird transport. We have added some test log entries in index.js, and we've also created an express test route to simulate a 500 server response. To run the application, go to your console and type node index.js. We'll immediately see four messages printed on the console, along with the debug output from the MessageBird API. And when you open app.log, you see three. One error report should have arrived on your phone. Let's now make a web request. For the successful request, you will see a log entry on the console, and in the app log file. Now we simulate an error. Along with the request error on your console in the log file, another notification will arrive on your phone, as you can see by the debug output from MessageBird. And that's it. Nice work. We've just built SMS server alerts using the MessageBird SMS API. That concludes our tutorial. 
For more guides on how to build communication solutions with our SMS, voice, and chat APIs, please visit the MessageBird YouTube channel and developer portal. Thanks for listening.